The bomb caused some of the worst scenes of destruction in Belfast in recent times. It was planted in a van near one of the city's biggest hotels, the Europa. Damage to the building is extensive. Almost every window has been blown out. Guests were evacuated minutes before the explosion. And I was in the middle of having dinner, and somebody came in and shooed us all out, and they took us down that street, and there was the, then there was a blast. This is the second major city centre bomb in less than a week. A half-hour warning was given, but police say that was wholly inadequate to clear a large hotel, a theatre, bingo hall, and several pubs and restaurants nearby. The city's historic Crown Bar, owned by the National Trust, lost several of its antique hand-painted windows, which have survived 21 years of violence. Replicas will have to be ordered, but it will take years to fully restore the building. The Grand Opera House is about to start its Christmas pantomime season. The side of the theatre is badly damaged, and it's lost part of its roof. The attack was roundly condemned by local politicians and a government minister. If their mentality is so warped that they intend to bomb a theatre just before the pantomime season, do you honestly think that that sort of mentality can be prejudged? We are doing everything we can. We have just increased not only the forces here, but the RUC strength as well. We are doing every single thing we can, and we are determined to stamp out this problem. The Ulster Unionist Party's headquarters is just yards from the seat of the explosion, but it's unclear whether that was the target. IRA is now contriving to attack and destroy jobs and businesses as their contribution to 1991. And I hope that it is not lost on the people who vote Sinn Féin and support them that what these people are doing is destroying jobs. It takes no more than a handful of terrorists to plan and execute attacks like this, but they affect the lives and businesses of thousands of ordinary local people. Jonathan Monroe, ITM, Belfast.